everybody Ann here just sitting here in front of the chicken yard having my coffee with all of you it is a beautiful sunny day today it's about 50 degrees a little bit maybe 51 52 and I'm feeling better starting to get my energy back I got a good night's sleep last night and Judy's out rummaging in the leaves and the chickens are out everywhere basically so far they haven't been able to get into my little <laughs> my little makeshift plant shelters so Mr. Lucas let me borrow this big saw of his so I'm going to try and cut down some more wood because I'm going to be cooking for Thanksgiving and like I said whether it's for me and Judy and the chickens or more people Cody and Hannah said they're coming over but you know what plans can always change they may end up going to their family so but they're very welcome their family's welcome anybody's welcome so I need to try and find a chicken that can fit into this pan that I've got um, it's not a 13 by 9. It's a little bit more square, a little bit shorter maybe, but it's got it and, and I've already tested it. The pan fits into the the Coleman camp oven, so I'm going to try and bake a turkey in that. I don't know if it's going to be on the inside or the outside. It's going to take forever, so it's going to have to be a very small turkey. And I thought just getting the turkey breast, yeah, I could do that, but um, I want a whole turkey. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to have to find a turkey that is small and can fit that way. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out. We're going to see. I might have to start it the night before, but I'm going to have to have a ton, a ton of wood. So I'm going to try and get as much wood processed as I possibly can. I may end up just having to do it out on the rocket stove um, because I can maintain the heat a little bit better with the rocket stove. So... We'll just have to wait wait and see. But I'm going to make all the trimmings and everything too. or not Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. And I'm going to buy store-bought gravy because my gravy is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. So anyhow, yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee and just get this day going. Look. One of the few rare moments that Judy's calm. She just loves sitting on that bed out in the sunshine. My goodness, I love this dog. Here it is, guys. This is the saw that Mr. Lucas is lending me. I am going to see if I can put a dent in this wood here. Don't know if I can do it, but I need a lot of wood for Thanksgiving, so I'm going to give it a shot. To get me warmed up, I figured I'm going to start with something kind of small. Oh, oh. And now for something a little bit bigger. Haha. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Alright, here we go. This wood is a lot harder than that other wood. This is, I, uh, Mr. Lucas said it was oak, so I don't know. Whew. I didn't think I was going to be able to get that big long part of that tree done, but I did. Look at all that. That's, that's a lot of wood there. And a few of you may be asking, why am I cutting some of the pieces so small? Well, first, I, I, my wood burning stove is small, so they can only be so long or so, you know, so wide. And also, I'm looking at the different parts of the tree. I want to be able to cut. I don't want to cut right through like a knot, you know, or where another part of a tree limb used to be coming out of because that's just too hard um, and I also am looking at the wood and kind of estimating how many pieces I can get out of each you know log so I think what I'm going to do is take a break and come back and do some of this smaller wood and remember this is just one part of that big tree that fell down that's all part of the same tree let me see if I can find the tree see this this tree right here it's all part of that tree that fell down 
And one of these days, if I get up the energy, I want to see if I can do a little notch thingy in that tree and get it to come down so I can have the rest of it. I don't know. It would be really super cool if I could do this without having to use electricity or gas power chainsaw or anything like that. Just do it by my own boot strength. Yes! And there's my wood haul for today. Not bad, but I'm going to need more because on Thanksgiving I'm going to be doing a whole lot of cooking. Most of this wood is already pretty dry, but I'm going to let it sit out in the sun, just dry out a little bit more. There's a couple pieces that are kind of still wet, and I know which ones they are. There's like kindling wood, separated into three different sizes. Ain't that awesome? And today I did this all with this. It's a distant distant, I don't know what you call that kind of saw, just a big old saw. It's an old-fashioned one. Mr. Lucas says he's had it for a long time and it worked absolutely great. And my Fiskars X11. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So what else do I need to do to get ready for Thanksgiving? Well, cut up some more wood. I know I'm going to need some more wood, but plan the menu. I know for sure, of course, turkey. It's going to have to be a small turkey. It's got to fit in that pan. Um, cranberry chutney, green bean casserole, apple, almond, sausage stuffing. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. And I don't know if I'm going to do sweet potatoes this year. I just don't know. I might, I might not. But what I was thinking of doing, that pumpkin over there, I was thinking of cutting that up and cooking the flesh down to basically pumpkin, you know, mush or whatever. Maybe making a pumpkin pie. I don't know. Maybe some pumpkin chocolate chip bread or muffins. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Got to have something for dessert. Um, what else am I going to make? Maybe some mac and cheese. I'm not sure. I don't want to go too crazy. Um, and I always end up going too crazy. <laughs> when, I, when I think of Thanksgiving, it's like go big or go home. But you know what? I have limited space uh, and cooking and certain challenges with cooking off-grid and whatnot. So, I don't know. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful day. doesn't matter how many people come. Nobody comes. It's just going to be me cooking. I might even live stream some of it. I don't know. I might live stream. I might do that. I might. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to just wait and see. Well, anyhow, this is a great time of year, you guys. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's been kind of sad for me, but this year it's not. there's not going to be one single bit of sadness. It's going to be a happy, happy time for me. So I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.